All right, guys, welcome back here. So in the last video, we talked about dictionaries of Python here. Now let's talk about JSON because while they are very similar here, they're not quite the same, all right? So I'm going to go to Google here, and I'm just going to search for sample JSON. Now, JSON, do know, is a JavaScript object notation here. Um, but keep in mind that, tell you what, this is a little bit complex here. Let's see if we can get a better one here. W3 schools, let's use this one from here. I like this right here. That's pretty good there. Do keep in mind that, don't worry, you don't have to know any JSON here. This is a very common um, format that you see information being passed around in here. So what I want to do first off here is we just have the sample JSON from here. And like I said, it looks very similar to Python and our dictionaries from here. But right now, this is one string here. And if I just copy this and I go back to my, whoops, wrong one. And I opened up Visual Studio by mistake. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make a new file here. We'll call this JSON. Uh, JSON testing.py because again, we don't want to do circular import. Let's import, whoops, import JSON. And then we'll just set like uh, info equals to this string from here. Okay. So you notice it's one string right now here. And I could try to take these away here and try to format that. And it does kind of work here, but you see it, we kind of get some errors from here. I'm going to put these back. And this is even more important, again, when you're downloading stuff from a database or a server. You might not have the luxury to go in here and add the JSON before it comes back, all right? So we're going to leave this just like this here. And if I print out print info, I'll tell you what, let's do print type, and let's pass an info right there. And we'll run it. We'll see it is a string from here. So it's not a dictionary just yet here. The way that I change this into a dictionary here, we'll call this dict1 equals, and we're going to say json.loads, and we're going to pass in info as an argument from here. So this is going to transform all of this information into a Python dictionary from here. And I can prove it. I go print, I go type, and I go dict1, save, and then I run it again here. We'll see it now this is a dictionary. And then we can go through, and just like in the previous video, we can pluck out certain pieces of information just like we did before. Like if I said print, dict1, and why don't we just do dict1, we'll do whoops, dot values like that, and then I run it, and then we'll see we get the values from here. We get John, we get 30, and then we get none. Again, this transforms it, so it goes from null to none, so he doesn't have a car in this example from here, but you can kind of see how this starts to work from here. Now, if I want to do the opposite, if I want to take some Python dictionary and then transform it back into um, JSON here, it's gonna be a little bit different. So I'm going to save this real quick here. I'm gonna go back to my dictionaries, and let's copy this one that we had before. And then we'll rename this to be dict2, okay? And what we'll do is we'll say something like uh, JSON1. Eh, let's call JSON2 just so it makes more sense in, a, in my brain here. JSON.dumps. And we're going to pass in the dict2 right there. Okay. Now, if we print out JSON2 to the console, and I run it here. Now you'll see the information is all retained here, but now it's a type string here. Now it's transformed really into a complete uh, JSON object here. Type JSON2. Save, and I run it back there. Now it's a type string here, okay? So do keep that in mind here. If you guys have ever worked with JSON or if you hear that information, or we might even play with it a little bit more uh, for later projects throughout the course here, uh, do keep in mind that JSON isn't dictionaries directly, but it's pretty easy just to transform it back and forth, okay? So if that makes some sense, guys, you guys did fantastic in this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Great job.